Today we're going to talk about why sometimes the leave files in place option is grayed out in Final Cut Pro 10's media import window. So here we are in the media import window and I have two folders here with camera one footage and camera two footage from a shoot. So if we click on camera one, we can see that we have two options. We can either leave the files in place or copy them to the library. But if we click on camera two, we can see that leave files in place grays out and we can only copy to the library. So if we look inside the folders here, they look pretty normal. There's a, a list of clips inside the camera one folder, and there's also a list of clips inside the camera two folder. But if we go over to the finder and look at what's going on inside these folders, we can see in camera one, it is just a list of clips, but in the camera two folder, we have what looks like a folder structure that was copied over exactly from the camera's media card. And that is actually why Final Cut Pro is not letting us leave the files in place. Basically, Final Cut Pro thinks that we, in our camera two folder, we might be copying media directly from a camera's media card. And it doesn't want us to leave those files in place because that media card is not something we're gonna keep connected to our computer. So basically Final Cut Pro is trying to force us to do the right thing, which is copy our media to the library. This can become an issue though, because on set, often when you're copying camera media, you wanna make a direct copy to keep the folder structure in place for if you need to do an online or relinking. So in this case, our camera two footage isn't actually on a removable camera media. It's on a hard drive and we've copied it there and put it there and we wanna keep that folder structure in place. So a way we can get around this is just by actually bypassing the media import window entirely. So if we close out of that, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that in our Final Cut Pro preferences on our import tab here, that we have leave files in place checked as our default. So once you have that, you can close out of the preferences. So what we can do here is actually just drag and drop our media right into Final Cut Pro. So we can go to the finder here and grab our camera two folder and drop it right here. And then we're going to get this window because there's a whole lot of other files that come along with the, with the folder structure that we don't actually need in the project. So don't worry if you see this message, you can see these are all XML files and they're not our actual video files. And then you just go ahead and click continue import. And there we go. Now we have all of our media imported into the project and we've kept it in place on our hard drive where we want it.